Topic: Introduction. India's remote sensing program under the Indian Space Research Organisation started off in 1988 with the IRS-1A, the first of the series of indigenous state-of-art operating remote sensing satellites, which was successfully launched into a polar sun-synchronous orbit on March 17, 1988 from the Soviet Cosmodrome at Baikonur. It was a proud moment for the country and showed the maturity of the satellites in the various requirements for managing natural resources of the nation. It has sensors like LIS-I which had a spatial resolution of 72.5 meters with a swath of 148 kilometers on ground. LIS-2 had two separate imaging sensors, LIS-2A and LIS-2B, with spatial resolution of 36.25 meters each and mounted on the spacecraft in such a way to provide a composite swath of 146.98 kilometers on ground. These tools quickly enabled India to map, monitor and manage its natural resources at various spatial resolutions. The operational availability of data products to the user organizations further strengthened the relevance of remote sensing applications and management in the country. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> IRS system. Following the successful demonstration flights of Bhaskar and Bhaskara two satellites launched in 1979 and 1981, respectively, India began to develop the Indigenous Indian Remote Sensing satellite program to support the national economy in the areas of agriculture, water resources, forestry and ecology, geology, water sheds, marine fisheries and coastal management. Towards this end, India had established the National Natural Resources Management System NNRMS for which the Department of Space DOS is the nodal agency, providing operational remote sensing data services. Data from the IRS satellites is received and disseminated by several countries all over the world. With the advent of high-resolution satellites new applications in the areas of urban sprawl, infrastructure planning and other large-scale applications for mapping have been initiated. The IRS system is the largest constellation of remote sensing satellites for civilian use in operation today in the world, with 11 operational satellites. All these are placed in polar sun synchronous orbit and provide data in a variety of spatial, spectral and temporal resolutions. Indian Remote Sensing Program completed its 25 years of successful operations on March 17, 2013. Topic. IRS data applications Data from Indian remote sensing satellites are used for various applications of resources survey and management under the National Natural Resources Management System Following is the list of those applications Space-based inputs for decentralized planning National Urban Information System ISRO Disaster Management Support Program ISRO DMSP. Biodiversity Characterizations at Landscape Level HTTP colon slash slash bis.iirs.gov.in Preharvest Crop Area and Production Estimation of Major Crops Drought Monitoring and Assessment Based on Vegetation Condition Flood Risk Zone Mapping and Flood Damage Assessment Hydro-geomorphological maps for locating underground water resources for drilling well. Irrigation command area status monitoring Snow melt runoff estimates for planning water use in downstream projects Land use and land cover mapping Urban planning Forest survey Wetland mapping Environmental impact analysis Mineral prospecting Coastal studies Integrated Mission for Sustainable Development initiated in 1992 for generating locale-specific prescriptions for integrated land and water resources development in 174 districts. Northeastern District Resources Plan www.nedrp.gov.in IRS Launch Log The initial versions are composed of the 1 A, B, C, D. The later versions are named based on their area of application including OceanSat, CartoSat, ResourceSat. Some of the satellites have alternate designations based on the launch number and vehicle P -series for PSLV. 
IRS data availability Data from IRS are available to its users through NRSC Data Center and also through Bhuvangia Portal of ISRO. NRSC Data Center provide data through its purchase process while Bhuvangia Portal provides data in free and open domain. Topic. Capacity building for IRS and other remote sensing data The capacity building program of ISRO for IRS and other remote sensing applications is through Indian Institute of Remote Sensing IIRS Dehradun and Center of Space Science and Technology Education in Asia and the Pacific CSSTEAP UN affiliated center located at Dehradun of Uttarakhand State in India. Topic: <laughs> Future IRS launches. Following are the remote sensing satellites planned by ISRO to be launched next strengthening the fleet of IRS satellites and widening their applications. RESOURCESAT-3, a follow-on to RESOURCESAT-2, it will carry more advanced LIS IIIWS wide swath sensor having similar swath and revisit capability as advanced wide field sensor AWEVES, thus overcoming any spatial resolution limitation of AWEVES. Satellite would also carry Atmospheric Correction Sensor for quantitative interpretation and geophysical parameter retrieval. It's slated to be launched during 2021. CARTOSAT-3, a continuation of Cartosat series, it will have a resolution 30 cm and 6 km swath suitable for cadastra and infrastructure mapping and analysis. It would also enhance disaster monitoring and damage assessment. It is slated to be launched during 2018. OCEANSAT-3, OCEASAT-3 would carry thermal IR sensor, 12-channel ocean color monitor, scatterometer and passive microwave radiometer. IR sensor and ocean color monitor would be used in the analysis for operational potential fishing zones. Satellite is mainly for ocean biology and sea state applications. It is slated to the launch to board PSLV in 2012-13. References, <references>